again and welcome. This is Robert Shine, Managing Director and Partner of Blanky Shine Wealth Management. Today is August 11th, 2022. Markets have been moving higher this week on the heels of positive inflation data, meaning inflation potentially could be rolling over. Um, not so quick, but at least let's take a look at the numbers. The CPI report yesterday, markets rallied off of that. As soon as we found out month over month, we saw a decline. Inflation uh, is basically easing in different subsectors and sub sub uh, subcategories of the of the economy itself but overall it was a good read and markets reacted higher today we see a continued rally um, right now as we're filming this but uh, we have to watch how we close today because it's very important to see if we can continue this rally this morning the economic data came out the PPI which is a wholesale index indicator um, it literally was a little bit lighter month over month so that shows that inflationary pressures within the economy uh, are easing. Now, the jobs number we have to pay attention to because that still shows tension. But if anything, the Federal Reserve has got to be happy with this number because remember, early on last year, they called it all transitory. Well, there's nothing transitory if wages continue to be uh, persistently on the rise and embedded in corporations. Now, let's talk about the corporations right now. This is an old chart in the room you can't see that I'm filming, but I keep every chart on the wall from when we uh, film. And so I love it just to keep me honest, but we also use, uh, you know, see how well we've done in terms of our, our daily updates, if you will, but also use it again and repurpose it. What's interesting about this one is I use this exact chart today uh, as I did in the first quarter after the first quarter uh, earnings report. And it showed the S&P 500 in the first quarter of 2022, the earnings 78% topped uh, versus the 68 percent average 90 percent uh had revenue growth of companies at when they reported uh well and then 85 percent of the conference calls that we listened to or even s p 500 in terms of the research reports uh when they came out on their 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 uh, earnings cited inflation is the number one persisting issue that ceos and corporations have to contend with uh to manage their business guess what folks I don't need to change the slide. All I did was change it to second quarter. And that's essentially plus or minus. Corporations are making money. They're doing better than average, uh, uh, plus 90% on terms of revenue growth. Now the bottom line growth is the concern. And that's where inflation is coming in. So all the CEOs are guiding to the yield to worst, the worst case scenario, no different than I use this analogy all the time, that my kids always say, hey, listen, I think the test that I just took, I don't think I did as well. Uh, it was really a difficult test. Then we get the test back as parents and they basically manage expectations, basically lowering our expectations as parents. And then they overperform with a higher grade uh, than what we as parents anchored in our head. So kids use that, but also corporate America uses that. It's no different folks. Now at the same time, uh, we saw the S&P 500 back then uh, was around the 4,000 65 level right now we're at the 4220 level so we've rallied over the last uh several weeks since this last report that i had here um right now we want to look at the moving average i put the s p 500 moving average at basically 4330 it's 4331 back then and what that is is it's a moving average it's a resistance band so it's the 200 day moving average and then the 50 day moving average right now we presently are at 42 20 today so we've been moving up off the lows and the top line resistance is going to be up here and that's what we're going to have to pay attention to this number right here is going to tell us the whole story and the story is can we get there the question mark is can we get there once we get there in terms of the index the s p 500 index rising from the 4220 getting closer to the 4330 that's top line resistance so we have to watch it could take some weeks could take some quarters here uh, but as soon as we get there uh, we want to see us flush through on the top side now keep in mind uh, is this a bear market rally rob or is this an a, a new bull market well you know if we look at the history right now uh, since 1954 um, we've had average bear market rallies of about 15% or 32 trading days. So right now, we're if you look at the S&P 500, 16% off of the low that we set in uh, just a few weeks ago, and we're about 37 trading days in. If you look at the NASDAQ, we're about 20% off the lows at this moment. Now, what really, what indicator do we really pay attention to? Uh, obviously, the resistance and where the moving averages are and where the index is, uh, that's a very good indicator on a day-to-day -day basis. But a long-term indicator that we need to know, even going back the last 70 years on the major market uh, bear market flush outs and the turning points from a bear to a bull you have to have a 90 percent 
uh, upside, meaning more than 90% of the stocks that are listed have an up day uh, with high conviction and high volume. Uh, so 90% of the index is basically above their 50 day moving average. Right now, as we're filming this, we're about an 86. We're getting there, but keep in mind, this could be a head fake in 2000, in, in uh, April of 2001, uh, going back, you know, 20 plus years, uh, we had, we got up to 90 or 89%, just under the 90% threshold. We have to at least hit 90 or above 90 for it officially to be a crossover. So we're paying attention to that key indicator, that key barometer that says it's a flush out. We've got some conviction here. We've got a turnover. We set the bottom in in the bear market and now we're setting a new bull market. So there's some things that are happening underneath the surface from a technical analysis side that we pay attention to at Blanky Chan Wealth Management. Either which way, whether we sell off from here, we're positioned in a diversified, balanced manner where we can rotate and strategically take advantage of downside from here on out. Now, um, or if we continue to rally, uh, we're positioned well because we own high quality stuff uh, that's going to continue to pay us in terms of income and dividends, as well as companies that, you know what, we'd love to, for markets to pull back for us to get some opportunities coming our way. So we're, we're, we're very nimble right now and very strategic, but we use the technical analysis to guide us in the short term and how we manage portfolios for you at home. Now, also keep in mind, I also put this back up uh, the first quarter of this year after the first quarter earnings report. And I said, this is midterm performance. So it's not uncommon to see us sell off and retest some lows, maybe set high, uh, lower lows. I know we don't want to hear that, but we're prepared for that in the upcoming months, September and October, because of the uncertainty. It is in midterm year. And again, historically speaking, if you look at the pattern of the way the index trades, the indices, if you will, uh, we do basically start off um, you know, uh, on a sell-off for the first six months, we have a rally, then we have another sell-off. And then once we get through that uh, midterm or get closer to the midterm, so let's call it mid-October, we could see some change in sentiment in the markets change and that holy, uh, whole, wholesale conviction. If we get that, we're in a new bull market for sure. So we're getting closer. We've been through the, I wouldn't say the, 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 the worst of it just yet. We don't know, uh, but we're through the thick of it right now. We're in the middle of it. So let's pay attention to these key numbers. Again, we're repurposing this simply because we like to just show that, you know, we're right on it and we're paying attention to what really matters. So thanks for watching today. Those are our updates uh, for today. And uh, until again, next time, take care.